Today is the last day for e-scooter users to get a $100 incentive if they bring their non-compliant devices to a collection point for early disposal. Now, so far, the Land Transport Authority says that around 30,000 e-scooter users have applied to do that, but they can only get the money if their devices are handed in by midnight, to, by midnight tonight. Shogo with more. It's goodbye 2019, and for these riders, it's also time to bid farewell to their e-scooters. They don't meet the necessary safety requirements under the UL2272 standard, and from July next year, they'll be banned from all public and cycling paths. Tuesday was also the last day for owners to receive the $100 incentive for disposing of such devices early. LTA has been encouraging owners to do this to prevent unnecessary fire risks. A record 73 fires involving personal mobility devices were reported between January and September this year. This car park at Sinming Drive, located next to LTA's office, was the only disposal point open on New Year's Eve. E-scooter users CNA spoke to said they are coping with the change. We have to follow the rules and regulation. We, we cannot keep it. Even though you bought it for, I bought it for 850. Today is the deadline. We have no choice but to dispose today. And uh, actually, uh, my friend is riding on this uh, e-scooter pretty much. So uh, even even at the last minute, we still use my friend is still use that for his transportation. The ban on the footpath is, is a major thing. Uh, effectively rendering uh, the devices useless. Uh, so I, I don't see there's any point in keeping the devices at home because of the policy, you don't know what will happen next. Others said they've started to think about other ways to get around. I have to take bus, la, go to work. La. <laughs> have to take bus, what to do? Now I guess it will be bicycle, get more healthier I guess, or sewers run in maybe. To pick up the children and also go to work. So how are you going um, to do now? Take public transport. Okay. We plan to buy a bicycle. Now there are long snaking queues here as PMD users take advantage of the last day to get the $100 incentive. I've even seen some people who are disposing up to two devices. But if you haven't had the chance to get rid of your non-compliant device as yet, fret not as you will have till the end of March next year to do so. You can bring them to one of 180 locations set up by LTA-appointed electronic waste recyclers across the island to dispose of them for free. For safety reasons, owners must throw away their non-UL2272 devices only at these points where there are staff trained to handle the disposal process safely.